In this video, I'll show you how you can extract approximate lot or parcel boundaries and put it on your GPS. So let's say that we are part of a historical society, we have a church building and we need to renovate, change it to a museum, but we also have parcels of land in the back. And we need to get this area onto a GPS so that we can see what's going on so that when the survey engineer comes in and do a proper survey, we know what to work with. Fortunately, this is the last survey that we got of the land. So we could do an image overlay and put it on our GPS that way, but that seems to be a little bit more complicated. What we can do though, is we know which lots or parcel IDs that we have to play with. So what we can do is leverage free data based on your jurisdiction, and you should have a free land registry or a property information website uh, that will show you the property boundaries. So here on the map, you can see there's our church and here's our area. And we just happen to know the property IDs or parcel IDs. And we're going to toggle this on here on the website. And from here, we're just, again, looking for approximate boundary information so we can put on our GPS so that we have a little bit of an idea where things are at. So here's our church. We can tap on one of the IDs. You can see it highlights the parcel. And what we can do based on where you are, you can probably download this information entirely for free. But in this case where I'm at, things are kind of locked down. I would have to pay. So what I can do is leverage some free information, which is I would need to get each corner of this box as coordinates so I can enter into my GPS. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use the measure tool and we have measure, area, and there's also the third option, which is location. So what we're gonna do here, we are going to zoom in pretty tight on our screen and we're going to tap on each corner of this parcel box. And then we're going to manually record the GPS coordinates. And just to see if this is unique to my area. No, I went to another jurisdiction here and they have a very similar app that again, you can click to get the parcel IDs. And of course there's the measure tool. And again, it has the same layout. So, you know, depending where you are, uh, you might have the exact same website, you might have a different layout or different colors, but at least you have something to work with. Now, once we have extracted all of our GPS coordinates or waypoints for each boundary or the box, we can go into our mapping program of choice. Here I'm using Gaia GPS, and I'm going to add these waypoints manually. And here I'm just using this on the iPad. You can do this on an iPhone. You can use Basecamp. And once you have your waypoints added, you can create an area. And then with this, you can snap each of these blue circles of your area to the waypoints that you created. And then you can actually make a bounding box or a polygon. So I found that it's easier to do this on Gaia GPS via the web desktop. So we're gonna flip over here and we're gonna create an area. And from here you can see, you can just simply tap on the screen and that's how the box gets built a little easier. So this was easier to do when you're, you're just tapping on waypoints. So once we have the areas created right here, now we need to get this on our GPS. So we're gonna select one of them and you can see that we have an export option. And here we can export the file as a GPX. We can take this file, put it on an SD card, and put it in our GPS, or we can have it as a file and import it into Garmin Explorer or any other mapping program that takes an import GPX. Now, once we have the files on our GPS, we can go to our Save Tracks or Tracks Manager. We can see that our three area files are there, and we can take a look at the information. We can change the outline of the color and we can see the preview on the map. And last thing we can do, which is most important, enable it or toggle it to be visible on the map. So we're going to make all three of these areas visible. And again, our point here is to have these areas visible so that when we go on site, we can walk around the property and walk around the parcels and we can see on our GPS the approximate boundaries are. So again, this won't be exact. This is where we're gonna have the survey engineer to come in a little bit later but at least now I know what to play with. And this is how we got around this scenario.